Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if this is your first time here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Monday helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, this week is from January the 28th until February the 3rd. Now, we're going through two phases of the moon. So, from Monday to Thursday, we have the last quarter of the moon. This is when we breathe with ease and give back from a place of love because last week we received abundance and we need to balance the giving and receiving. Then from Friday to Sunday, we have the balsamic moon, which is honestly my favorite part of the whole moon phase. This is the time when you reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. I take four days of social media, three to four days. I disconnect, I try and go out into mother nature, um, take a bath. I kind of do the things that take a little bit longer to do. Um, but this is really fabulous time to really ground your energy so you can be ready <laughs> to march ahead when we move into the new moon next week. So they're the two phases of the moon that we're going through. And so today is just a general reading. Oh, also, I've had a lot of questions on my Instagram recently about the days of the week because I'm in Australia, so I'm about... Um, 10 hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. So just take from this reading what feels best for you. It doesn't specifically mean that on Monday this is going to happen. You know, it, use it as a guide. I'm not reading just for you, um, but these are the general messages that are coming up. Um, yeah, so hopefully that helps you. If you're really pedantic and you're like, oh, I really want to know. So if Mel's morning starts at this time, that means that on my, her Monday, that's my Sunday afternoon, then go with it. But just really just take the messages from this reading that feels best for you and then use that as your theme as you progress through the rest of the week. Anyways, without that little intro, let's get on to see what we need to know for Monday. So this is in the last quarter. There it is, one card. Ooh, okay, so now we have the Ace of Wands. Well, so, wow, that's amazing. Let me just quickly check my thing from last week. Oh, so we ended on quite a bang last week with the Queen of Pentacles. That's interesting. So with the Ace of Wands, so this is a new beginning of this new fabulous you that you're creating. But this is also in terms of your passion project. So you have up leveled, you have gotten to a different level of success, a different level of abundance, whatever that Queen of Pentacles represented for you last week. You're starting clean. So last week we were really looking at like, cleaning the slate, releasing the blockages, choosing to make all decisions with love instead of fear. And this is an opportunity for you to really take care of you. I feel so many throat chakra blockages today. <coughs> so obviously communication is something that's gonna be brought up quite a lot. So how do you communicate with these maybe new clients that you're working with, this new boss, this new, I don't know, because we also had the towel came crashing down last week as well, which is your stability, that root chakra stability, which has gone. So something has shifted in your life, and this is an opportunity for you to really start being the leading lady of your own life. How do you act in this new chapter? How do you dress? What are your self-love practices? What time do you wake up in the morning? There are so many things that come into play, but how do you act in this new chapter? How do you hold yourself accountable? Do you scold yourself at the first sign of failure? No, you pick yourself up and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm so happy and grateful that happened because it taught me a lesson. So I just feel like it's, uh, be easy on me. Oh, that's Jesse J. Be easy on. Da, 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 da. Da, da, Ooh, that's a really good song. Jesse J. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is a beautiful song. Because I show up, glow up, blossom little rose. You are the most beautiful when you're. I don't know how this goes. I pray up, I stay up, 
What is left with all these clothes? Something da 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 da. I make money, share my time. I need something to be mine. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. I'm impatient, give me space. Always working far away. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Please don't be so hard, so hard on my heart. I'm a delicate flyer trying to grow inside your arms. Please don't be so cold. Be patient while I grow. I wanna try. Da -da -da -da. Need you to know. Oh my God, that's amazing. So be easy on yourself in this new chapter. Oh, I love Jessie J. I can't wait till she comes back on social media again. I like miss her words of encouragement. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. I love that song. So be easy on yourself. Be easy on yourself. Breathe, breathe. Oh, that is the best song ever. Oh, wow. All right, what do we need to know for Tuesday? Oh, we've got the Hierophant. Whoa, so be easy on yourself. So as you're going through this new chapter, the Hierophant is like wise, it's wisdom, it's giver of higher knowledge. How do you receive this new knowledge that you need in this new chapter in which you're creating? This could be a friend, this could be a coach. I've been talking about coaches and trainers and a teacher, someone to guide you, someone to mentor you in this new fabulous chapter that you're going through. Who is this? It doesn't have to be someone in the physical form. This could be lit literally listening to an audio book um, on Audible. This could be, I don't know, watching my YouTube channel. This could be listening to Jesse J's songs. However this looks like for you, Tuesday is when you're finding some wisdom. You're either f attracting some teacher or you're learning something new, something that's gonna help you in this new chapter. I just pulled that card, I'm just gonna go with it. This is for Wednesday. Oh my God, the King of Wands. We had this recently. How do we have the King of Wands when we just got the Ace? I'm gonna say no. Ah, oh, but it did came out, come out. I'm gonna put that with Tuesday because it's like maybe the King of Wands is like, I'm just so distracted by that song. I wish I could play it for you. But have a look in the description. I will link it, linked it in our Spotify playlist, which I create every single week. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Please don't be so hard. It's like you've got to the end of a chapter. I'm putting it, I'm putting it as the end of the chapter for this one because you have found someone who can help you in this new chapter. This doesn't technically have to be in order for the week. This is just what I'm pulling. I feel like you've come to the completion because you've found someone or something to help you to take you to this next level of abundance. Okay, Wednesday. Oh, thanks. Three cards, one was more dominant than the other. Whoa, eight of wands. Speaking into existence exactly what you want. So in this new chapter, yeah, it's scary. It's gonna be scary, but what is scary? If you don't do it, then you're always gonna regret it. You never regret the things that you do. You just learn from them and then you just move on and you evolve and you move up the emotional guidance scale. Ah, I love this week. Okay. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Eight of Wands, so speak into existence. This is affirmations. This is the law of attraction. I am so happy and grateful now that the perfect people to help me in my new level of passion projects are magnetically drawn to me easily, effortlessly, and in avalanches of abundance. I am so happy and grateful now that abundance is my natural state. I am so happy and grateful now that I am easy on myself because I know that I'm doing the very best I can with the knowledge and understanding that I have at the time. My gosh, guys, ah, this week is so good. I don't wanna pull these because I feel like that's says it there. All right, Thursday. Whoa, and the cloud is, club is jumping, jumping. Yes, you got me. Six of wands, this is a victory. Um, I kind of saw like a, like a, like not like a strut, but kind of like a, ooh, like this is my stance, like kind of like owning it. It's like, yeah, I'm owning this. This is this new chapter, this new fabulous you that you are creating. It's like you're owning it. 
you're not allowing anything or negativity to infiltrate into your subconscious because you're blocking it. You've blocked it. You blocked it by clearing the slate last week with the lunar eclipse full moon in one degree of Leo. <laughs> this is like taking a stand. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. You're taking a stand for yourself. You're doing things so differently this year and you should be so happy and grateful for exactly where you are. So what is that? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Let's see what we need to know for Friday. I feel like I'm going through this quite quickly, but I feel like the answer is, it's just, it's just, I just feel like that's the whole reading. <laughs> um, so Friday. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Oh, Friday. Ooh, temperance, balance. Let me just pull my cards up again. Friday. Okay. So how do you find your balance as you're starting something new? You need to take yourself off social media. This is in the balsamic moon. Reflect with gratitude. Take time to rest. Ground your energy in nature. That will help to recharge yourself. You can't just work yourself to the bone. Think of it in terms of like the seasons. It can't be winter all year round. It can't be summer all year round. Well, it almost is if you live in Australia. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is about finding your balance, grounding it. I'm feeling throat chakra pain again. <clears throat> How do you find your balance? You just rest. Go to bed early, have a bath. Make yourself a stovetop chai tea latte, a turmeric latte, whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. Some nutmeg and some hot plant milk <laughs> on the stove. I don't know, what do you love to do? Do you love to cook? I'm seeing images in the kitchen. Do you like to cook? Do you like to bake? If that's your love language, do it. If you love to paint, do it. If you love to write songs, do that. Whatever makes you feel good. You know, it's like working smarter. This is why the balsamic moon is so good. It's like, it's a time where you can't get guilty at yourself um, for taking time to take care of you, to, to be easy on you. What was the words in Jesse's song? I'm just a delicate flower trying to grow inside your arms. Please don't be so cold. Be patient while I grow. I want to try. I want to always, I won't always get it right, but I need you to know to go easy on me. Yeah, this is like being, I feel like this is about you, not other people. But be easy on yourself. How do you do that? Take time away. You know, self-love isn't complicated. It's simple. It's, <laughs> it's as simple as, going out in nature, drinking beautiful, high frequency water, getting some sun, doing your affirmations and your mirror work, throat chakra, singing, communicating, talking from a place of love, meditating, that's really all it is. Whatever these different steps to move you up the emotional guidance scale and the chakras, that's what you need to do. Just do things that make you feel amazing. Extra special things, not like day-to-day -day things. Extra special things. Like I've been talking about it for a while. I really want to make um, vegan pasta with my mom's pasta maker um, before we leave. Um, yeah. And Peter and I are actually moving back with mom this week because our house it ended earlier than we had anticipated. <laughs> Okay, so balance. Um, Saturday. This is a great week, guys. Such a great week. Be easy on me. Saturday. Two cards for Saturday for the balsamic moon, and they are, oh my god. Two major arcana. The first one is the star, and the second one is the wheel of fortune. <laughs> as soon as I heard Wheel of Fortune, I, I heard Big West keep on turning. Damn, bad baby, keep on rolling. When we're rolling, rolling, rolling down the do, 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 do. And then the star card is just like, the star is like the North Star, the intuition, the direction of your highest self where all the delicious goodness that you have ever possibly ever dreamed of is literally on. And this is guiding you to where you need to be. And I heard like, um, uh, now I can dance from Tina Arena. Now I can dance. 
uh, clouds will disappear. Um, oh God, how did that song go? Let me just find the lyrics. Now I can dance. Tina Arena. I love her. Love, love, love her. Uh -huh. <laughs> Freedom I hold so dear because nobody knows me here, though I can only imagine the sadness in your eyes. Please understand now I can dance all alone the other night. I came to realize we'd be friends for life. It was always meant to be. For some people, the heavens can get it so right. Like an angel, you see, you have graciously offered a hand. You'll be so proud of me. Now I'm finally taking the stand. Now I can dance. Well, that's off key. Now I can dance. I can't remember how the tune goes, but it's like now you can dance, you know? You found that freedom, that emotional freedom. We've been talking about for a while. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't think you realize how much work you actually did energetically as you cleared the slate last week as we were talking about releasing your blockages, listening to my Forgiveness Heals meditation if you have already purchased that when my shop was open. Whoa, this is powerful. I'm just so excited. All right, and Sunday, what do we need to know for Sunday? So I hope, I've got more songs. So I hope this finds you well. Sun is shining down eastern valley ways. There's some news I need to tell you. Give my mother a kiss, tell her I'm okay. Okay, listen to that. Now I can dance from Tina Arena. So we've got Be Easy On Me from Jesse and now now I can dance from Tina Arena. Ah, I love weekly angel guidance. Oh, thank you. That was very like Sunday. Oh my God, it's the chariot. Things, big wheels keep on turning. Brown mirror keep on rolling. And we're rolling. Yeah, you're literally rolling at an unstoppable force. Things are gonna manifest for you super flipping quick this week. But you have to remember there's two phases to this week. Breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. Give to those people that are less fortunate than you. This could be literally giving your time, your money, your energy, baking something lovely. I don't know, my love language is quality time. That's my number one. So I'm like, if you can spend time with me, I'll love you forever. <laughs> um, and then the last part of the week from, I think it was from Friday to Sunday. The Friday to Sunday is the balsamic moon. So... This is when you're resting. We've got every single, oh my God. Every single card in the balsamic moon is a major arcana. Every single card and holy flip. This week, it's only wands, major arcanas. That's it. Wands is a passion project and major arcanas are major life shifting events holy smokes that's incredible I don't even need to give you a focus card this week because I feel confident in that this is all about I'm just keep going back to the same songs be easy on yourself know that as you're transitioning through different times that you have to take extra care of yourself as your root chakra is trying to find its stability again you know be easy on yourself please just disconnect from social media Take yourself out in nature. Cook in that kitchen, that beautiful Italian egg-free pasta, you know? Whatever you need to do, be easy on yourself because you will be able to dance. Ah, oh, I love weekly angel guidance. All right, my loves, that's your reading for this week. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the thumbs up button because that totally helps out my channel. Leave a comment below and let me know what are you most excited about for this week in Weekly Angel Guidance because I can't wait to hear from you. All of you high vibe, beautiful souls that join me over on the live chat, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy and grateful that each and every week you prioritize 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time that's when you jump on the chat and 
and we t when I find out about you, what's coming up, what's going on. Um, and also I have some very good news. One of our beautiful MK Love fam, Justin, who has been following me, oh my gosh, over a year now. And I feel like I've seen so many different energetic shifts within his vibration. He has just manifested the love of his life. And oh my gosh, when I read that message, when it came up, I literally like, ah! I was like, oh my God, I feel like such a proud mama bear. Like that is a true a testament of all of the delicious work that Justin has done, and I'm sure you guys have done too. You have manifested beautiful things you haven't even told me about. You know, like that makes me so happy and grateful that I can share that in that joy and that love with you guys. So Justin, sending you so much love and all of the beautiful wishes for your relationship. Um, and I'm sure when the time is right, you'll be able to send me a little picture. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you next week. Please rest because we're moving into the new moon next week. So just please rest. Be easy on yourself. And follow me over on Instagram so I can chat with you throughout the week um, through private messages and through my story and through my Instagram grid because I'll be posting more delicious goodness over there. Anyways, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye guys! Oh, I'm so excited!